Class of 2020, I know your senior year hasn't exactly lived up to your expectations. It's easy to focus on everything we missed out on. It's easy to be angry with the world right now. We've been dealt a bad hand, and it's easy to focus on that. The easy way isn't what life is about, though. Life is about making the best out of whatever you get. I want to open with a story about adversity. There was a man driving back to his hotel after working late when he got into a car accident that would change his life. The head-on collision could have killed him. He wasn't sure if he would ever be able to work again or if he'd even be able to speak. In his hospital bed, recovering from facial reconstruction surgery, with his jaw wired shut after the worst thing that had ever happened to him, he heard a song that inspired him to make music. Two weeks after his accident, he recorded his first song through the wire holding his mouth shut, and the rest is history. Today, Kanye West is a household name and one of the most successful musicians of our time, but it wouldn't have been possible without the adversity in his life. He once said, everything I'm not made me everything I am. It's easy to focus on everything you're not, but it's that ability to rise above the struggle that makes you better and makes you who you are. It's not just adversity though that molds people. It's the resolve born from tragedy that makes people great. It's your resolve that will separate you, class of 2020. Don't let the struggle we're facing define you. Let your response define you. You know him as Iron Man, but before Robert Downey Jr. was an Avenger, he was a washed up teen actor with a drug and alcohol problem. Throughout the 90s, he struggled with addiction to cocaine and heroin. He went from a promising young actor to broke and unemployed. He came to a crossroads when he hit rock bottom and he decided that this isn't what he wanted. He wasn't going to let his struggle define him. He dumped all of his drugs into the ocean and has been sober ever since. He decided that he wasn't going to let his hardships define him. Instead, he let his response and resolve define him. He made the decision to be better, to take what he had and make the best of it. Today we face our own crossroads in America. We're beat down and beaten up. You guys have been beat down. My challenge to you is to get up stronger than ever. You have the strength. You made it this far. The future holds so much for us. The world has changed so much since we started on this journey together. It's up to you to put this world back together better than ever. The future is a blank page. The world is yours. You have the strength, the resolve, to make the world a better place. And don't forget that none of you are alone here. We're family. We can give each other strength in the hard times and celebrate in the good times. When you leave here, do something worthwhile. Do something good for someone else every day. Work every minute to be the best version of yourself. Let the adversity you face sharpen you and let your response to the struggle define you. The world today is full of tragedy, but I know that you have the strength to turn tragedy into triumph. Thank you.